everyone, I'm Kevin Pyman. Thank you for joining us. Um, you're witnessing Sean and Cheryl um, and I having fun at the Northside Walmart. As you can tell, I have the curb, I have the curb stomp the devil logo. I uh, was having fun with it since I got here earlier today. And uh, we had a blast. And uh, Dustin, um, and Dustin had a blast as well. We did have some technical difficulties at KGNZ, but you know what? They happen from time to time. And I'm loving this moment because I get to enjoy watching Sean dance with the sign. That's his favorite thing to do. Me, on the other hand, I enjoyed flipping this sign just to have fun. So that was amazing for uh, what I decided to do today. But now I must have Sean join me as a guest to talk about the fun we had. Did you have a blast, Sean? It's a lot of fun. It uh, helps the station as you see the sign right there. Uh, every donation counts. Oh, yes. Whether it be a dollar or 50 cents. If everybody did this, it would go up to 150, if not more, real quick. Cheryl, did you enjoy taking the donations? Yes. Oh, I would have had a feeling you were going to say that. Now, when we come back, I want to talk to you about my opinion on the curb stomp the devil sign after this. And welcome back to the show. Now, um, I want to talk to you about the term curb stomp the devil for a second. Many of you already know that um, ever since I met Dustin Tatro and maybe before that, I came across a picture of a sign that said curb stomp the devil. Well, that logo has actually been their catchphrase for some time now. And it meant a lot to me ever since. And if you were watching the Facebook Live show that I did at my apartment where I um, had to um, cut a U-lock off using an angle grinder, I was not happy about that, but it had to be done because it was um, something that I had to take care of because the keys to it went missing. Well, I have a different U-lock that looks exactly the same as the one I destroyed. And I had to have many of you watch the show without the sound, but put on music because it may be too loud for some people. And I wanted to make sure that everyone was comfortable at that time. Now, um, when we come back, I want to talk to Sean Hardesty and Dustin Tatro about the fun and the games that they actually enjoy at primetime stay with us. And welcome back to the show. I am live at prime time, but outside due to music restrictions on uh, Facebook and YouTube. So, with Dustin having to go inside and stay there to do his show, but yet you can't hear the KGNZ feed, well, it's just ridiculous. Now, um, the main reason why I wanted to do my show at prime time in the first place is because, number one, prime time is a place to have fun. And um, one of the places that I've been to when I worked at Subway was over here. The bad part about primetime is it's not bicycle friendly because if you want to get to primetime, you have to go Maple from Industrial and then make a left-hand turn on Loop 22, 22, 322. But the thing is, the construction side over there made it difficult for me to get here, so I had to go back on the wrong way just to get here, and that was unsafe for me. That was the bad problem about it. Now, um, when we come back, I'll have um, my opinion on some of the news stories um, that I've learned about so far. Stay with us. We'll be right back. And welcome back to the Kevin Pilon Show. Now, a seventh grade girl is uh, being charged for an incident that happened to several eighth grade girls when they were given pot laced candy. The good news is it didn't happen in Abilene. Luckily my phone screens didn't break. The bad news is they got sick and complained of uh, nausea and lightheadedness. I'm so glad my phone screen didn't break that time. That's what happened at Sears when I was watching television over there. It actually broke because of the gravity. So, it's going to be... A it's going to be one of those things that you don't normally think about, and it's the only story I was thinking about. 
Um, I'll do more research on tomorrow's show, but for now, I'm Kevin Finland. Thank you for watching.